Yes, let's move over to the London game. Falcons, Jags, you know, here's the main question I had for you, bro. Do the Falcons need to replace Ritter immediately to salvage the season? Yeah, it's not going to work. It's like, like we said, like last week, when you cripple that rushing offense, there's no passing game. Like You don't have to worry about the pass game. So if these defenses just sell out to stop the run, like, Put just put Heineke in. Like at least he'll make it interesting. Like, and also some I was listening to uh yeah, I was listening to PFF today. And they're talking about like, even if you just got Ryan Tannehill down there, like just get somebody who can run the offense and not to the point where it's like if they shut down the run, like your offense is dead. Like Jacksonville. I think dominated this game. Like, I think it was pretty obvious and I'm starting to question a little bit of Atlanta. Like if they can't run the ball, like is this much of a competitive team? That's, but then again, this went back to my thing. I was saying, you know, I was big on my rant two weeks ago where the Falcons are they're They're in that same realm as the, the bears have been that the jets were maybe out of you. But like joke aside where everything else is there. But it's like it's so frustrating when it's like that QB is just absolutely not. And it's not where they're again, it, like you said, if they were if he was even a serviceable mid-level option, it'd be fine right now. Yeah. He's not. He's a he's at a I'm I will never call him trash or anything like that, or even a scrub, nothing like that. But yeah. in terms of talent in the league right now, he's in in the bottom tier of like guys that are starters. Well, so let's, it's like being realistic for a second, bro. You're taking a team that really should be competing, and it's like you're you're yeah, you said they're it is crippling them. This it's no, crippling, crippling is the team. best way to describe it. And I'll let you keep going. I just want to point this out to you. Like when Janu Smith is your leading receiver, when you have Drake London and Kyle Pitts on your team, that that is a quarter, whether it's a scheme thing or like a quarterback thing, like there's no reason like Drake London and Kyle Pitts should be getting less receptions than Janu Smith. And yeah, Drake London had seven targets compared to, but how many of those were like, catchable targets no and this that was the first thing i had on, on my notes besides the diff- fact we had to discuss ritter was look bro john and this is not even the this week thing john smith like consistently is like the team's like go-to guy it, and again like literally i'm just gonna say exactly what you said whether it's whether it's a scheme thing or it's a pr- preference thing makes no sense absolutely makes no sense they have so many playmakers that just don't see the ball yeah, um, this is it, it, that's it's the most frustrating situation to be in as a fan. And like, because also, you know, you're just one player away. It's it's so much le- less frustrating when you have a good QB and everything else sucks because you're like, well, well, this is years away from where we need to be. But it's like, no, you're a player basically away from having what you need, but you just can't get it like that because it's the hardest player to get. Yeah, no, it, and it's also like you're also really hurting Bijan. Like this is your first round pick. And it's like, if you can't throw the ball and they're killing the run game, you're hurting him. Well, let's be realistic too, bro. Again, the lions is my example. If you're going to take a running back that early, you at least are expecting to compete for a super bowl. The lions are competing for a super bowl. They're not like, uh, we drafted Jameer and they're not even using him really, but you get my point. And there's yeah. a lot of reasons for it. And the, besides, the, but the, you get my point. And they have, they have a plan for him. I'm sure it's not like they're just throwing to the wind, but you have to be ready to compete for the Lombardi trophy. The, when the Falcons took him, they basically did say, right to correct me if I'm wrong. Are they not, they're not, you're basically saying I'm trying to compete for Lombardi in the next two or three years, because like we know that's a running back shelf life at their peak. So it's like, well, in at least that how's a four or five being generous. We're trying yeah. to compete for Lombardi in the next four or five. Well, y- you know, you should have the QB figured out before you do make a move like that. And again, it's like, that's where now if, if they, if they can't get it figured out with the running back, and the fact they took Bijan, well, it's going to be a big thing over the next few years. I mean, for sure, where people are going to say, what was that decision? But yeah. again, we're going to, we won't go there now because Bijan, as we know, is a, I know what it is. He's a future legend if he stays healthy. So it's like, you can't question the pick of the tail. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, you can certainly, at a point, start to question the Falcons' direction if they don't figure it out very soon with who his Raiders replacement is going to be. You know who's in their front office? Ryan Pace. Jacksonville, not much to say. I think they looked a lot more fluent on offense. They weren't forcing the ball to Calvin Ridley. And uh, yeah, they played a good game. I th- This was really more about the Falcons, like kind of being disappointments at this point. And I, I want to give a shout out to real quick on the Jags. Um, First of all, Josh Allen has had two, three sack games this year. So you know, he's, not getting, he's, you know, he's not really getting a lot of talk. But Josh Allen, six sacks, very quietly in the year. And I guess the thing, too, is he'll have three sacks, and then he goes yeah, quiet. two tackles for loss. 
Yeah, he's he's no, he's quietly bought out Three this year. QB hits, it yeah. is inconsistent. You want to start to see if you're a Jags fan, probably where he's getting at least a sack, a couple tax for loss a game. But hey, he's volatilely one of the best pass rushers in the league. There's no doubt about that. It's just crazy because like you look at like Atlanta and you know Tampa Bay is leading the division, and it's just like Atlanta. Like this was this was your division to lose. Like you're letting Baker Mayfield beat you out. You're telling me you couldn't have gotten a better vet to play for you besides Desmond Ritter. I mean, like like I said, I, I like Heineke, but he's not the long term decision. So I, I don't know. But yeah, I'm excited for the next. Uh, London games can be Jacks at Buffalo. That is going to be tons of fun. 